Can you imagine making an anime with a great look, thrilling storylines with a lot of twists and turns, a great cast of characters that you get deeply invested in, and just great dialogue, and all of your hard work gets ruined by some severely bad and dumb decisions by selfish people? Well, for some of these unlucky souls who worked on Kokoro Connect, that's exactly what happened. If you don't know anything about Kokoro Connect, I will give you a super fast review of it. So, review time speed run. Pretty much you have five characters who are in a club, then out of nowhere, supernatural events start happening to them, like body switching for instance. These supernatural events put a lot of strain on them, and they have to work together to make it through these situations without cracking and going insane. Plus, it's really funny and serious at the same time. It's like crazy. Now that that's out of the way, let's see what's exactly ruined an anime that I thought was fantastic. Absolutely flawless, I feel. So, yeah. So, imagine that you want to be a great voice actor, really bad, and want to really get a footing in the industry. You have gone to voice acting school to learn how to be the best actor that you can possibly be, while also working every day to practice your craft. You have already done a couple of small parts in animes, and you see another anime that you could audition for. You go in and do your absolute best and hope that they are liking what you're putting down. The sessions are done, and you hope that they will call you back to give you the gig. And oh my god, the studio called back, saying something along the lines of, we would absolutely love for you to have a part in our upcoming anime. They later tell you that your character is going to be an original anime character that isn't in the novel and will be the star of the show. They inform you that this character reveal will be at an upcoming press conference um, that animes do. They regularly do these press conferences to, you know, publicize the anime and, you know, do some marketing. So, a little bit of time passes. Okay. It's hype today. This is your big day to reveal your original character and really make it big in the uh, anime world. So, the press conference goes as normally planned. And they call you out to announce your original character. So, you come out to announce your character, and they start to play footage of you recording your lines and all that. Then after a couple of minutes, it's revealed that you actually aren't an original character in the show. You aren't even one of the main characters in the show, nor one of the side characters. You aren't in the show at all. They straight up lie to you, and now you're broken inside, and you really can't call the scene in public. Because uh, it would be career suicide. Because like one small stay in Japan, man, that that can just be it, it for you. So what you actually got hired to do was, and I kid you not, be the publicity chief. What this means is that you have to go around the country of Japan doing various events to promote the anime that legit just like messed with you and made you look like an idiot. Then they say if you don't, they will make you do like punishment games, like. For instance, one of them was like, you have to get like 30,000 followers for the Kokoro Connect uh, Twitter account. Like, that's all messed up, right? But it even gets worse. Like, it's insane. I'm going to read a short transcript of what was said in the days following. And this was on a radio. So, publicity chief Ichi's prank was really exciting. I wanted to see it. That was probably a really historic moment. I kept thinking about the event, wondering... Um, what the other voice actors were doing. Ichi, he isn't in the anime. They laugh. Oh, so I heard he's a publicity chief. It was a prank shown live on Niki Niki and Ustream. But I also did the narration for the prank video clip. Ichi didn't go to a re rehearsal, just came right in on the real thing. <laughs> and they go on to explain the prank in detail and all the other stuff how they did it. And later they say, Poor thing, it was a big impact. I didn't think to see the moment a person crumbles would be so beautiful. We use many people to pull it off. It's amazing, right? Like, that's insane. Like, they legit like just destroying this person. I mean, it was just, that is so sad. And then at a later, in a different promotional event, these dudes still take advantage of him as they legit electrocute him while reading the info for later promotional info. Like, it's honestly insane how they treated him. So because of this, a lot of the Japanese anime fandom 
goes crazy. And in Japan, the otaku fam is a lot more close knit, and they come to a conclusion of how to hit these dudes back and where it hurts. They decide to rate the anime so low on pretty much every site, um, especially Amazon. If you go to the Amazon Japan website, you can see the ratings for the anime is like really low. And when they refuse to buy the Blu ray DVD sets, since animes are very heavily reliant on these sets to, you know, be profitable and everything, uh, this hurts them really badly because they only sold 2,500 copies, which is horrendous. Now, with terrible sales like that, the show obviously won't be touched again. And since the light novel is all wrapped up, the chance of ever seeing another second of animation is pretty much zero. And it makes me so mad because it's one of my favorite animes. Also, a fun fact about the incident, if you have never watched the anime on Japan TV, you have most likely never seen the original opening. Because the singer for the original song got into some Twitter spat with another singer, and then people looked deeper and found more info about this event and dealings, so they changed the theme completely away from it, which also delayed the Blu-ray set and DVDs so they could put the new opening in there, and that's the one that's used everywhere on streaming sites and on the uh, pirating stuff I know you guys use. Um, it really pains me that this happens to this guy. His name is... Mishiro Ichi, if you're curious, um, he's still doing some voice roles, so get on him for not quitting. After people treating him badly, you know, power on, man, we'll through it. Don't, don't let people just, you know, kill your stuff. You know, I, I like that about him. You know, power through it. I really wish these events didn't happen, because man, I wanted a season two so freaking bad, and it hurts. So I'm never gonna get one, because these dang people and them being assholes. If you haven't watched it, please do, but um, in the dub, because. Fuck them Japanese voice actors uh, for this anime. Real talk, I fuck them. Um, not everyone, I, all the voice actors were a part of this, just a little bit of them. Anyways, I'm Nozaki, and hope to see you next time. And I'll probably actually review the anime because I do like it a lot and I've been watching it lately. That's why I made the video. Anyways, bye bye.